How's it going? Will here. And Kelsey. And uh, we had to go outside because the cool place we're gonna do this at was way too loud. Ah! Um, today we're here and we're gonna talk about the top things for doing stuff with kids in Denver. And um, I have a three-year-old and a one-year-old. I'm a grateful dad. I, uh, as I said, I love this shirt. It's my favorite shirt. Um, so um, Kelsey is 25. Yes. No kids yet? No. However, you are a grateful... Aunt. Yes. She has two, uh, two young ones. How old are they? Uh, almost two and almost five. Nice, nice. So, so don't you love them? Oh, like more than anything. They so, know it's possible. And then you have these things, these little children that half the time you love, half the time you want to choke out, but you know, it all works out and it's great. But you have to go do stuff to keep them occupied, to tire them out, to have fun. So we're going to talk about the most fun things to do with them in the Denver metro area. So, number one, what do you say it is? Uh, number one, I'm gonna have to go museum number one. Which one? Oh, good question. I'm gonna go nature and science museum. Nature and science number one. It's always changing. They have some cool things there. Well, a few things about it. It opened in 1900, so it's one of the older things in Denver. You know, in Denver, 1900 or 121 years ago is a long, long time. Right, so that opened in 1900. It's about 716,000 square feet. I see it's a great place for children of all ages because yeah. at the first age, it's gonna be, wow, that looks cool. Yeah. The next age is gonna be, hey, I kind of want to surface learn about it. And the right. last age, when they're like, you know, maybe 10 to 15, it's gonna be more of a, wow, I really want to learn about space. In fact, right. they just redid their space odyssey area. It's amazing. It really is. Now, 65 and gorgeous. The place I want to go is the zoo, right? So, Denver Zoo opened in 1896. It was actually the first zoo in all of America to not have the bars all over. They had the natural enclosures, and that's what I love about our zoo. So you can interact with the animals. Yeah, and you can see them in their natural space, you know? Yeah. Oh, you don't, you don't, you don't jump no, on the yeah. elephant? <laughs> you don't ride the elephant, no? I did try to pet the lion once, and they're like, ma'am, please stop doing that. Yeah, yeah, well, they have over 3,500 animals there. You oh, wow, know. I did not know that. They just built a brand new animal hospital so they can help animals, whether they're at the zoo here locally or other animals that are weird, um, you know, breeds and whatnot can be housed and helped out there as well. That's cool. It's on over 80 acres. And the one thing I love the most about it is probably it's a huge circle. And once you get done with the circle and your kid walks that entire area, they're exhausted and you'll get a great nap. Eliches. 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 Yeah. Which is around here, over there somewhere. It's over there for now. Yeah. But in case you guys don't know, right now Elitch is it's owned by Cronky Sports. They own the Pepsi Center. Well, it's now the Ball Arena. It's all adjust to that. And they also own, um, well, they own a lot of stuff. But the Cronkies own Elitches. They're moving it. They're getting Elitches out to the airport. The reason they're doing that is there's going to be a huge redevelopment by the basketball arena. But Elitches will get a lot bigger and better when it goes out there. So if oh, you want. Awesome all the roller coasters and all that, they got it all there. They even have a small water park. But if water's your thing, there's an even better place to go. You ever been to Waterworld? No, I haven't. You haven't been to Waterworld? <laughs> no. Wow. I'm new here. Yeah, apparently. Well, Waterworld is in uh, the top 10 of best water parks rated by Travel wow. Channel, so it's a really good one. One thing I like about Waterworld is you have to go in there and buy their food. They'll let you bring a cooler of your own food. I respect that. Yeah, because I'm cheap. I respect that. Yeah, same. One of my favorites is the Children's Museum. So it's over here off of I-25 and, uh, what was that, Spear? I think so. And um, it's incredible. Now I'll tell you, they have over 20 exhibits. They have one of my favorites is like this, I don't know, I call it the bubble room. I don't know what it's really called. But you can play with bubbles and, and all sorts of like water foams in different ways. And like the kids just love it. There's this one machine that blows bubbles that are, I don't know, like, 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 like this kid. big. Yeah. yeah, yeah, like the size of a yeah, kid, you know? Yeah. Or they have the one, you ever seen the one where the bubble comes around you in the hoop? <gasps> yeah, like yeah, those they have that. yeah, those are exciting. So do they, they have, have Do they have the one with like the strings? It's like a st strings in the shape of a square and then you put it in the bubbles and it comes up as a bubble square? Yes, they do. Yes, yes they have all of that. That's impressive. Yeah, they have that. They have a water world place cool. there. Jungle gym, all sorts of stuff. I mean, it's, it, it's super fun. They even built this huge playground you can see right off of I-25. Yeah. I haven't gotten to do that yet. Inside, outside? No, it's an outside playground. Nice. Oh, and my favorite thing to do with my kids on New Year's Eve is to go there. You know why? Every hour on the hour, they call New Year's. So every hour on the hour, they have this huge area with bubble wrap on the floor yeah. that when they say New Year's, all the kids run on the bubble wrap and say pop, 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 pop. It's a great place to go to New Year's at 
two in the afternoon with your kids. I'm gonna add that tradition to my own New Year celebration. I did it last year. I came That's here at eight, and then I went there afterwards. That's awesome. What else we got? The aquarium. Ooh. I love the aquarium. What's it's your favorite awesome. animal? An octopus. Oh, yeah? yeah. What do you like about the octopus? They have one at the end, and he's adorable. He's orange. He's yeah. really cute. Yeah. But also at the end, they let you pet stingrays and feed the stingrays. I don't know if you've ever done that before, but that's pretty cool. Did they you? feel disgusting. What would you What would you say it's like? Uh, I got nothing. It's like a booger, like a very firm, muscular booger. Um, yeah, but you can pet them, and then you put little food in your fingers, and then you feed them, and they come up and they they munch on the food in your fingers. I'm sorry, I'm still trying to digest the fact that you know what a hard muscular booger feels like, because I don't know. My I, boogers I... are muscular, so. <laughs> now, we'll let you know. Denver has a great thing. It's called Free Days. So with that in mind, um, Denver Zoo, um, Nature and Science, the Botanical Gardens, if you watch your calendar, you can go on a day that it's fully free, so you don't you don't have to max out the budget. But if you want something on any given day that's free, we have a lot of freaking playgrounds and walking paths. How many playgrounds do we have in Denver, Kelsey? We have 250 parks and playgrounds. How many? 250. Wow, that's a lot. It's a lot. It's that's like a whole lot. It's everywhere. I know, I love it when someone says to me, they're like, well, I want to live next to a, a playground, or, or and I'm like, Cool, that's like every neighborhood. That's easy. Yeah. That's easy. Denver has those. them all over. Yeah. Yeah, we have that. And then we also have all the basics, right? We got your trampoline centers, your your bowling alleys, your Chuck E. Cheese's, your all your stuff. So if you wanna go with the big things, you got that. You want all the basic stuff, you got that. And you want the free fun, we got that too. So if you wanna have fun with kids in Denver, there's endless opportunity for fun. Whether it's indoor or outdoor, doesn't yeah, matter. For sure. We got both. Alright, cool. Bye. Peace.